Well, we do have a big update for you tonight about the Justice for Junior case. Five gang members have pleaded guilty to manslaughter in a deal with Bronx prosecutors. Yeah, it's a major development more than four years after that 15-year-old was chased, dragged out of a Bronx bodega and stabbed to death. Thanks so much for staying with us. I'm Corey Chambers. And I'm Tamson Fidel. Well, the five men will receive less prison time, but the case is not over. There was one holdout. Pick some it's Mary Murphy with more for us tonight. It's almost the closing chapter in the junior investigation. Five of the last six defendants in the massive case pleaded guilty to manslaughter in the first degree, some agreeing to sentences of 12 years, while others expect to get 15 years behind bars. Are you pleading guilty voluntarily because you are guilty of this crime? Yes. Danilo Payamp, in jail more than four years now, hesitated slightly when he pleaded guilty to manslaughter in the 2018 gang stabbing of Lissandro Jr. Guzman Feliz, who was just 15 years old. Judge Ralph Fabrizio also asking him, Did you, acting in concert with the other individuals, cause the death of Lissandro Guzman Feliz Jr.? by stabbing and slashing him about his neck and body. Yes. Payamp never stabbed Junior, but he's seen here getting out of one of the four cars that chased the terrified teen, later pacing by a getaway vehicle while the 22nd attack took place. We can just have him sign. Payamp took the plea deal offered by the Bronx District Attorney's Office, admitting the gang intended to cause serious physical injury to Junior. And the first degree is 12 years incarceration, followed by five years post release supervision. Payamp accepting 12 years in prison instead of risking 25 to life if he was convicted of murder at the next trial. The five stabbers and two gang leaders have already received substantial sentences for murder convictions. Two weeks ago, Jose Tavares, the first person in the bodega who spotted Junior and then flagged the others, agreed to plead guilty to manslaughter and a gun charge in return for a 15-year sentence. Junior's mother told PIX11 in late October she wasn't happy with plea deals. For me, it's not make difference if you was in the car driving or if you were chasing them, they killed Junior. One reputed gang member who rejected a plea offer is Danelle Fernandez identified on surveillance cameras wearing a green do-rag as he allegedly pulled a desperate junior from behind the bodega counter where the teen was hiding under a sink. Fernandez refused to plead guilty to manslaughter for an 18-year sentence. <laughs> the second gang member who pulled junior out, Kevin Alvarez, had pleaded guilty in 2019 before the first trial and became a star witness. When the trials are over, he's supposed to get released with time served. So now there's only one defendant left in the junior case, and that's Danell Fernandez, the man accused of dragging junior out of the bodega with Kevin Alvarez. Unless prosecutors can work out a deal before early January, it seems like we're looking at a third junior trial. I'm Mary Murphy, PIX11 News.